Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Grace and in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to get eight to nines in GCSE science. So I did GCSE triple science and I got a nine in physics, a nine in biology and an eight in chemistry. To be honest, I don't really know why I got the eight because well, in my most recent mock I got an eight but I was two marks off a nine and then in the mocks before that I was getting nines. So I don't really know why my teacher decided to just give me an A. Still, an A is a really good grade, so I'm not going to sit here and complain about how I got an A instead of a 9. It's still an A star. Um, and I'm basically going to share with you guys how how I got the 8s and 9s. I'm pretty sure if I sat the exams, I would have gotten three nines. That's what I was hoping for. So I'm just going to share with you guys how I revised and how to revise, stuff like that. So the first thing that I did was I made notes. The reason why, I mean, I made notes separate to my class notes. So the reason why I did that was because um, my class notes weren't really neat. And also, like, I feel like in class you do, like, exercise, right? You do tasks. And so I didn't really want to revise for my class notes because I just felt like it would have, like, random questions and random answers and, like, ticks all over the page and everything. I just wanted to have notes that literally just had what I needed to know and so I made notes but if you're watching this video with like one month left to the exam then maybe you shouldn't spend your time making notes if you're watching this video before you before you even start your 11 or early 11 then maybe you can make notes because you have time but only make notes if you have time because two weeks before the exam you don't want to still be writing notes so this is an example of my chemistry book I'm going to show you guys some of my notes so just random page right so I would just write the notes. I would go, I would look at the specification. Not many people like use the specification like you should. Like the specification is literally like telling you what will be on, not what will be on your exam, but everything that could appear on your exam. So literally you should be going at, like looking at the specification and like literally ticking it off saying, yes, I can do that. Yes, I know that. And at least for AQA signs, like they often put, definitions in the spec they put definitions they just put chunks of information literally in the spec and all i would do was just copy it down into my book and memorize it because it's very important that you have the spec specific language like you can be saying something and the mark scheme will literally say the same thing that you just said but in a different way but then you wouldn't get the marks because you didn't say it in the way that they said it so it's really important that you have that spec specific language and the best way to do that is literally by trying to get as many notes as you can from the spec and and they do put a lot of stuff there so i would look at the spec um you know and make sure that all my notes that my notes have like everything that's in the spec i used free science lessons if you don't know free science lessons then i really don't know what, what you're doing he's it's a youtube channel on youtube sean he basically makes videos um, for gcc science and his videos are so good they're so like straight to the point he doesn't waste time and you can tell he makes his videos while looking at the spec because like everything that's on the spec is usually in his videos so i'll just watch his videos you know write down the notes from his videos look at the spec you know write down the, some of the stuff that's like the stuff that's in the spec if it's given you know i didn't really use my revision guide that much i did sometimes to try and like understand things but I really wanted that spec specific language and so I often used the spec and also free science lessons because I just felt like he worked really closely with, with the spec, you could tell. So these are my chemistry ones. Um, I just liked, like knowing that I have a book that literally has like everything that I need to know. Do you know what I mean? Like just here. That's why I didn't like to use my, my class notes. So after writing notes, the next thing is flashcards. So obviously you have all the notes, right? But then writing notes is not going to make it go into your brain. You need to memorize it. And so a way that works for me is flashcards. Flashcards are really good. So I wouldn't just, don't just copy your notes into your flashcards. Like condense them. Condense them while at the same time, um, like keeping everything that you need to know on the flashcard, right? Sometimes like, Instead of writing increases, I'll just pull an upwards arrow or a downwards arrow for a decrease, do you know what I mean? Just so that the flashcard isn't really packed with information. It's just like straight to the point, just telling you like quickly. So these are some physics flashcards. So I would basically just write... Oh, okay, this one's in there. I'll basically just write questions on the flashcard and then answer in the back. So what would happen if you moved the conductor along the magnetic field? No induced PD or current. That only happens if the wire passes through a magnet. So I'll just write it like this, you see what I mean? Just like that. And then basically just go through. So when you're going through your flashcards, yeah. So go through one, and let's say I get this, so I'll have like a 
right pile so ones that i got right and then a wrong pile so after i've gone through the whole deck pick up the wrong pile and basically do the same thing until you have like no more like until your wrong pile is empty so essentially until you've gone everything right it's not really efficient to go through the whole deck and then just go through it again because you're basically just going to be going through the ones that you already know again and again like you want to be getting the ones that you don't know so separate it into two piles and then pick up the ones that you don't know and do them again until you get them right don't start doing your flashcards two days before your exam give yourself plenty of time to memorize the content you know what i mean like flashcards do them every single day like i would do them every morning and before i went to bed every day until i basically was getting everything right like until i was getting everything right you know from the whole deck Another thing you can do is blurting. So for example, let's say you needed to learn about photosynthesis. So just get a piece of paper, write photosynthesis, maybe write a few prompts, like what is the equation, you know, what, this and that. And then basically just write everything you know. And then get your notes on photosynthesis and compare your notes to what you've written and see what you missed out and make sure that you, that you memorize that so that you'll know everything, right? So that's a way of memorizing it. But memorizing is only 50%, you know, if, if I just did all of that and memorized all these flashcards and I went to the exam, I probably wouldn't get an, I probably wouldn't get a nine. Reason being that you need exam practice, you need, um, you know, to, you need to like get familiar with the style of questions. So do a lot of exam papers. Like a few days before my exams, I wasn't going through flashcards. And when I say exams, I mean mocks, obviously. I wasn't going through flashcards. I was doing past papers. That's what I was doing. Physics and maths tutors, really good. I love them because... Their past papers, they arrange them into like by topic. So if let's say I'm struggling with like more calculations, right? There's like a whole like compila compilation of exam papers that, is, that just have more questions. I don't know if that makes sense. So instead of like going through a whole chemistry paper, I'm going through the ones that have more calculations specifically. So I can target what I'm struggling with. Obviously be doing you know past papers for like all the topics even the ones that you, that you know well because you need to make sure that you can apply your knowledge but phys physics and math teachers is really good for also just making sure that the stuff that you're not so strong at you can get really strong at also just like going on your exam board trying to uh, you know print out papers you can ask your teacher to give them to give you their exam pro login if they have one exam pro i know it's like a really good website as well that has a bunch of past papers but basically just do a bunch of past papers like a bunch of past papers and if what you write is not what is on the mark can you mark it wrong okay mark it wrong and let's say what you wrote was basically what you had memorized from your flashcard but you got that wrong so make sure you go to your flashcard and you change it and you write what the mark scheme said so that you make sure that you're learning that exam specific language once you've done that you should honestly be good just make sure that you haven't missed out any points and so make sure that you're really following like you and the spec are like this right so you make sure that you you literally have everything that you need to know in your notes right then make sure that everything that you need to know you also have in your flashcards but don't just copy it word for word like try and like simplify it a bit and then do a bunch of past papers practice 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 and you should honestly be ready for your exam and you'll probably get a nine if you do this and if you do it on time you know what i mean um but yeah, that's pretty much what I did to get nines um, in my mocks. And, you know, I got nines in, in the actual GCC, even though I didn't sit the exam. But, you know, if this worked for my mocks, then this obviously will have worked for the exam as well. So yeah, I just hope this helped you guys. Um, if you liked it, please give it a like. Comment down below any other tips that you have or anything. And also subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.